Joy. Yeah. I believe we, need, we do need to have, even though we're predominantly, predominantly a residential area, we do need uh, to look at ways to bring businesses here to town and help those businesses that are here to possibly expand. We have taken some initiatives recently to relook at our parking and redo parking to make it easier for businesses in town to expand. We are, as Mrs. Borders pointed out, just took up the topic of looking at more tax incentives that Commissioner DuPont raised two weeks ago. And we're going to be looking at that on our meeting at ninth, the 9th of March, uh, or 9th of May, whatever month it is. <laughs> we're going to be looking at that to look at ways to bring, give incentives to businesses that are already here in town. So I definitely see a need for it. And I do believe that the commissions in the future will have an opportunity to be able to work on that. Thank you. Joyce? Economic development, economic growth for this town, I see it as a necessity. We need this to not only provide jobs for um, some of the residents who remain here, and without um, the well-being and the economic growth, they're moving on to other locations. And if we're, I see where a lot of people have an interest as, as being a tourist town. Now, you're going to have to grow to keep the tourists coming here. You're going to have to have something to provide to them if you want the tourists to keep coming to the town to spend their money. So I think we need to grow in those areas, not only for the well-being of the tourists, but the well-being of the residents who are here to provide for their well-being. There are some issues here that um, some of the residents are not pleased with because there are no opportunities for, like I say, jobs. There are no opportunities that they can see where we... Thank you, Don. <laughs> yes, since I've been commissioner, we have uh, tweaked some of the fees that we have been charging the residents. Um, we are a residential town. Um, we have been uh, since I grew up here. You know, business started spawning as tourism grew. Uh, we were charging. We had uh, parking meters. Uh, one of the first things I did as a commissioner um, was get rid of the parking meters. Uh, businesses were complaining, but that is revenue. Um, you so you have to you know, tweak that a little bit. Um, some of the fees that we do charge the businesses we're looking at, um, there's right now a um, fee for the um, perpetual parking or the virtual parking we've, we're looking at getting rid of. Um, it's very expensive and we're looking at some other plans to put in place. Thank you. This is a residential town. And that's one of the reasons why people come visit it. Uh, as I said earlier, for the beauty of its architecture and this historic aura that it has. And if we don't protect the businesses and allow them to prosper with tax incentives, cutting taxes like the inventory tax, they will go away. They will fail or they will go someplace where they feel they're better supported by their, their government. Because once you lose the businesses, once you lose the restaurants and the stores, you're, you lose the taxes that coming in from accommodation taxes and all that. People find it not less desirable to live here, and your property values fall. And therefore, the whole town can stop growing. It could just become dead, uh, dead for lack of a better word. But we need to encourage business. We need to find ways to help young people come in here and start businesses so they can continue to grow and have Thank you. Virginia? I agree with all that I've listened to, everything they said, and it's true. We do need the businesses or else we will be right back in the rock we were in. Everything you want to get go east and to get it. No. Put the stuff here. So we can stay right home and spend our money. We only hear most of us. So we should spend it here. And that's about it. Thank you. Michael. 
Okay, so why is there a need of a plant or your plant? Okay, why? The why part is I think most of us that, that weren't born here or haven't been coming in the early years moved here because it was a quaint little town with nice little restaurants and nice little stores and shops and enjoyed what was going on. I think there's a lot of people that also miss some of those stores that Miss Virginia talked about, you know, the hardware store and the local, local um, drug store and so forth. So there's an opportunity for, for a delicate balance with that and I think again the incentives to fill the storefronts is very important because nobody wants to walk down Main Street and see all these empty storefronts and we do have an opportunity to encourage different businesses that maybe are not associated with tourism to also grow our town like Joyce says we have a few more job opportunities here. Thank you. Michael. Uh, thank you. Uh, yes, it is a residential uh, community, and that is only one stakeholder in our town. Tourism and business are two other stakeholders, and we need all our stakeholders to contribute to the prosperity of the town. What I'd like to see initiated is the redevelopment, of course, of the Fremont Street Corridor, uh, and I would like to see it uh, develop into a professional complex so that we can bring more uh, professionals, lawyers, CPAs, etc., uh, to town. Also, I would like to see develop a St. Michael's Regional Partnership Roundtable. It's time the town develops a partnership between local government, business owners, nonprofits, and other organizations that are impacted by decisions made by these commissioners. Uh, an example would be that I feel that the uh, town is losing the economic opportunity by not partnering with, say, the Maritime Museum, and finding a way to share tourists. Uh, the purpose of the partnership is to have all the interested organizations that are affected by the decision-making body in St. Michael's to re register under one umbrella group. Thank you. Thank you. 